All right, so the very first thing we need to do is get into the settings of the printer. And so if you're using the Epson Smart Panel app, you're going to click on the printer icon. You're going to go to nozzle check and you're going to print a nozzle pattern. And the reason why we want to do this is because we want to make sure and see uh, what colors are missing. Now, if you're printing blank pages and you're having a major error, then of course you can skip this part. Uh, but this is really just going to tell you what colors you need to work on uh, and where you need to focus that cleaning on. Now, once we actually get this report back, you're going to see that we are missing some color and so the color that we are missing is black and a lot of the cyan and so now we know where we're going to focus our cleaning next step is going to be to print off another nozzle report and while it is printing you're going to unplug the printer then you're going to lift up the top portion of the printer and you need to unlatch uh, this side connection so what, the way that you do this is you're going to twist it and you're going to bend it, not so much to where it's going to break. There's a way to do this where uh, you can actually bend it to the point where it will come out, uh, but you do need to make sure that you are using gloves because if not, this can be a little bit more challenging. So really just bending that and getting it unlatched. Once it is unlatched, you can then use the panel that is on the front of the printer, take that off and actually prop up uh, the top portion of the printer. Now, if your cables get disconnected at this point, there is a video on my channel uh, showing you how to actually reconnect these cables. So don't worry about that. If they get disconnected, there is a way to connect them back, but you need to make sure they are connected before you put everything back together. All right, so we wanna make sure that the printer is cleared of any paper. And so that page that was going to print, uh, is probably halfway through, you're gonna remove that. And what you're going to add here is some paper towel, but you do need to remove also that cover that's on the print head. So first thing we're gonna do is remove the cover that's on the print head so there's a tab on the right side you're going to pull that out and then there's a tab on the front you're going to push that in and by doing that motion you'll be able to uh, remove the cover now don't lose the cover that's very important that you have it to replace it and so now we're going to take apart this print head uh, these are the cartridges that the ink flows into with these ink veins you're going to remove all of them because you need full access now one quick tip uh, the reason why i'm pointing at this cartridge is to make sure that there is ink in the cartridge if there isn't you may have an air clog and that would be a whole separate process of what you would need to do aside from the cleaning so make sure you check for air clogs air clogs uh, are easily identifiable there's no ink in the cartridge or very little ink uh, there's a way to suction the ink back into the cartridge you see these cartridges are, are, are just fine so there's no air clog on these what it would be is mainly just a print head issue that is causing uh, the lack of color or discoloration fading uh, this is where the source of your problem is coming from is from the print head now the solution of course is the best printers cleaning kit linked down in the description below this cleaning fluid is essentially going to be pushed through the print head and it's going to break up the blockage that is in the print head because uh, gunked up ink gets built up in there over time uh, or it gets dried up and without usage so both of those things can cause this issue. So now we're going to be folding up a piece of paper towel. This can be any paper towel. Just make sure that it can get thin enough to the point where you can slide it under this print head and fold it up to the point where I have it here uh, to where you can then place it under the print head and then you're going to slide the print head carriage over the paper towel. Uh, once you have that in place, you are now ready to do your cleaning. You're gonna take your syringe. The silicone tubing is most likely already attached. You're going to identify the colors going from left to right the first color the one that i have already attached my silicone tubing to is a black next is going to be yellow after that it's magenta and then cyan so that way you know which colors you're identifying now cyan was another color that gave me issues i did that off camera but i'm going to be cleaning the magenta just so you see uh, it's not one of the side nozzles but just so you see how you can access one of those middle nozzles uh, just giving you a good perspective here on how you're going to be able to attach the silicone tubing to the different nozzles now remember the color pattern you want to make sure you're cleaning the correct color uh, because you don't want to waste too much of this solution on on the incorrect color now if you have a general problem you are going to clean all of these nozzles every single color black yellow magenta and cyan you're going to clean all of them if it's a general issue if it's a specific issue and just one color is not working then just clean that one color and save the solution but if it's a major issue uh, then you're going to want to 
of course, clean all of them. Now, one really important note here is if you're having trouble pushing the solution through, you're going to need to warm up the solution. So there are a couple videos on my channel showing you how to do that. If not, they're on the website. I'll show you how to warm up the cleaning fluid and you're going to reapply the warmed up cleaning fluid because sometimes the blockage is so bad uh, that regular temperature solution is not going to do it. You need a warmed up solution uh, so that it can easily flow through there and actually break up that blockage. Uh, so once you're totally satisfied and done with this cleaning you're going to dry everything off and you're going to put everything back together now this is a very important step is for 24 hours you're not going to power the printer back on or plug it in uh, so essentially you're going to put everything back together and you're going to allow this printer to sit for 24 hours after having dried everything in this area put everything back together you're going to put the cover back on you do not want to power it back on or plug it in the reason for this is because if there is any moisture in the print head, uh, even a little bit that you can't see, uh, it can cause a print head error and you don't want that. And so now we're gonna put this uh, elbow back together. We're gonna make sure that it fits in place and then you're gonna put uh, everything back together essentially. You're gonna put this flap back on. There is a way to very easily do that. Now, just take your time with this. I'm doing it quickly because I have a lot of experience with these printers, but you may wanna go you know, step by step and, and maybe pause this video along the way. Uh, but all of this is very doable. Don't worry. I am very confident that you will be able to do this simply with these instructions uh, in this video. Now I'm going to be plugging in the printer after the 24 hour period uh, and not before then. And then at this point, we are going to make sure that we fill up the ink on this printer. There's going to be a link down in the description below for some remanufactured refill ink for this specific printer. And so there is a three step plan here. You also want to change out your maintenance box. There will be videos showing you how to do that in the description below as well. It can seem overwhelming and like there's a lot to do, but as long as you stay on top of this maintenance going forward, you will not have this problem again. Uh, you need to make sure to follow all the steps in this video. Use the links down in the description below. You're going to use the cleaning kit, then you're going to refill with ink, and then finally you are going to change out the maintenance box. And these are the results. You go from missing color to having all of your color return. Your report should look like this. All of the colors printing black, yellow, magenta, and cyan. Now to actually get to this point, you need to do a power cleaning. So make sure you do a power cleaning. Uh, there are instructions on how to do that in a separate video. I'll be linking that as well. And after you do the power cleaning, that is when you'll want to change out your maintenance box. I hope this video ended up being helpful. If it was, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. But that's really all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner, and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video.